Hi, this is Zachary Ring from Thea Enterprises. Homeworks offers some amazing programming features that aren't available in Lutron's other residential systems. One of the most powerful features that Homeworks offers is conditional programming. Conditional programming is so powerful because it allows the system to start to do the thinking so that the end user doesn't have to. I'll explain what I mean by this in a minute. Unfortunately, I've noticed that advanced features like conditional programming are often underutilized by our installers because of the perceived complexity of writing out a statement like the one shown here. In today's video, I'm going to break down this example so that you can start incorporating the power of conditional logic into your homework systems. This will be another way that your company can add value to the customer and differentiate your system because of the elevated end user experience that you can now provide. In the example shown here, I programmed my bathroom keypad so that the on button will trigger three different lighting levels depending on the time of day that the keypad button is pressed. We've all experienced the unpleasant sensation of bright lights turning on in the middle of the night. So with programming like this, we eliminate the need to hunt for different keypad buttons in the dark when you're half asleep. Today's video will cover the basics of conditional programming, but we'll cover more advanced conditional programming examples in later videos in our how-to series. Something that's important to notate right off the bat is that changing program type will erase your existing programming. So if you've written a complex conditional like this, make sure that you don't change the program type to normal without saving, because there's no way to undo this action. If you want to save your conditional statements somewhere in the software, I suggest saving them to buttons on a phantom keypad. Now that we have a clean slate to start with, I'm going to change the program type back to conditional. If you only have one condition that you want to check, you may be able to get away with using single variable programming. Watch our video on single variable programming for more information. Conditional statements are sometimes referred to as if-then statements. If you're familiar with writing these type of statements in other softwares, you'll find homeworks to be quite easy because it helps you build these statements with drop-down menus. If we want to start with checking a condition, we'll start with add condition. However, sometimes you'll want to run an action first or maybe incorporate a delay. For our example where we check time of day, we're going to start with adding a condition. Look at all the different conditions we can check. We can check anything from time period to the state of a contact closure input. We can even check to see whether or not vacation mode is enabled. For our example, we're going to start with time of day. If time of day is from, and we can select a fixed time or an astronomic time. Perhaps I want to start with sunrise. And then we'll define a period of time that goes from sunrise until 6 p.m. Then I'll want to run an action. So I can click here to add an action, or I can use the Actions tab to add additional actions by clicking the plus icon. For my daytime action, I want the lights in the bathroom to turn on to a bright level. I'll have my down lights in the bathroom turn on to 90%, so I'll name the action down lights 90%, select my down lights, and program them to go to 90%. If I go back to the Press tab, now I can select that action. And since I only have one action, there's only one to select. Just to review, if I press this button now and the time of day is between sunrise and 6 p.m., then my down lights will turn on to 90%. Conditionals are very nice, but we also start to introduce a little bit of risk. If I were to press this button at 7 p.m., nothing would happen because it's outside of this time period that we just defined. One way we can help to mitigate this risk is by using else statements. You can add an else statement by clicking the plus icon next to end if and then click add else. 
I like to think of the else as otherwise. So if the time of day is from sunrise to 6 p.m., then turn the down lights on to 90%. Otherwise, come here. I could just add an action that set my down lights to another level, and that would automatically encapsulate everything between 6 p.m. to sunrise. So if I only had two states, there'd be no reason to define the other time period. I would just add an action here. For my example, I want three time of day states, so I'm going to add another condition, select time of day again, and here I'll do 6 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. And I'll add an action. This time I'll click Add Action here. And I'll have the down lights go to 70%. So now, if the time of day is between 6 p.m. and 11.30 p.m., the down lights will turn on to 70%. One thing I want to point out is that we don't need to write 6.01 p.m. here. The way this works is if I were to press this at exactly 6 p.m., it would actually turn the down lights on to 70%. So you might want to think of this as sunrise up until 6 p.m. So 5.59.59, 59, down lights will turn to 90%. And the second the clock ticks over to 6 p.m., 0, 0, 0, 0, will run the 70% action. Now, if I left it like this, I would still have a gap in my programming. So if I tried to turn the lights on at 1 a.m., nothing would happen which obviously isn't good. So now I'm going to use an else statement as a catch-all. This else statement will capture everything that falls outside of this time period. So I don't need to define a time period here. I can just add an action. During late night hours, I want my down lights to turn on to a dim light level. So I'll program my down lights to turn on to 35%. In addition to acting as safety nets, else statements also increase the efficiency of our programming. If this statement is true, the processor will execute this action and then it will be finished because of this else statement. If this is true, it will not check anything below the else statement. If this is not true, then it will come down and check this. If this is true, will be finished. If this is not true, then it will come down and execute this action. This makes sense because if the time of day is between sunrise and 6 p.m., it's impossible for the time of day to also be between 6 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. We could write this same conditional without using the else statements, and the end result would be the same, but we would be wasting the processor's time as it would be performing unnecessary checks. In certain applications, I want the processor to continue checking conditions regardless of what happens in this top set of brackets. To do that, I'll click Add Condition, which creates a new bracket. Now, regardless of what happens in these top brackets, the processor will always continue down to check my condition that I defined here. I can also do this if I want to run an action regardless of what occurs in the top brackets. Now I'm going to change my LED logic from scene to room. If I left it on scene, the LED would only be on when the down lights are at 90%. I want the LED light to be on when the down lights are on at any level.
The last thing I want to do is provide the user with an intuitive way to turn on the down lights to 100% regardless of the time of day. To do this, I'll utilize the double tap function. Here, I'm not going to start with adding a condition. I'm just going to click add action. And I also want to show you that aside from defining actions, we can also reference shared scenes as actions. I previously created a shared scene called Master Bath Bright that sets the down lights to 100%. So I'll just select that shared scene. That's all there is to writing a basic conditional statement in Homeworks. Since we are introducing a little bit of extra risk when performing conditional programming, be sure to check all buttons thoroughly before leaving the job site. To test our button, we would want to use the terminal function to change the system time. This will ensure that the button will perform correctly regardless of the time of day. Keep an eye out for our video on advanced conditional programming coming in the near future. To be sure that you don't miss that video or any of our other future videos, be sure to subscribe to the Thea Enterprises YouTube channel and use the bell icon to be notified every time we upload a new video. Once again, my name is Zachary Ring. Thanks for watching.